Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of 60 Seconds. Now, one thing that you should all know about me is that I play things in waves. Like, sometimes I have an addiction to one game. Sometimes I have an addiction to another game. Right now, I'm having a blast playing 60 Seconds again in 2022. I haven't played this in about a year, I think. And then I've uploaded two episodes back to back. Now, this is the third time. I've already beaten it just regularly. <laughs> now, I kind of want to do a challenge. One of my favorite ones was the yes to every everything challenge where no matter what the situation no matter if I know something bad's about to happen to me I have to say yes let's see if I can actually get rescued by saying yes to every single scenario that comes to me if you guys cool with that you down with that everybody get ready and buckle up because here we go so of course I'm playing sour bomba for your mama let's be real here should I go with Dolores I kind of want to go with Dolores because she's a little bit faster and I don't know if I want to bring everybody with me into the bunker but let's see that's four chances to survive right you know what I'm gonna do it I'm gonna grab my son, Timmy, because he's the closest. And then let's grab Mary Jane one time. She's not even that much faster. Dolores is kind of clumsy. Like, she's, like, running into stuff. Like, a freaking umbrella is stopping her. Who gets stopped by an umbrella? Like, not me. Couldn't be me. But let's get the med kit in the waters. And then I definitely need that Boy Scout book because that is going to help me a lot. Even though in Sarbama, it hasn't helped me at all. And then I forgot that Ted requires three freaking hands. Let's get the cards just in case we get bored. Let's get that map. I took the freaking ammo instead of the map. This is why I won't be able to survive any of these challenges. Let's grab the map. Let's grab the gas mask. Let's grab the radio. And I also want that bug spray, baby. Okay, so should I grab Ted? Or, ugh, you know what? I'm not gonna bring Ted. I'm just gonna be a single mother. That's who I am. That's what I do. Let me get one more water, though, because I feel like it. All right, so we jumped into the Help bunker me. with just the mom and the kids. Let the yes to everything challenge begin. Love doing this. Love doing these jazz hands. And my fingers smell good, too. Mm. Timmy's still wondering how barbecue chicken his dad is up there because that blast roasted that ass, and I wasn't even trying to rhyme. Thank goodness that there's no yes or no scenario to that one. But I can still scavenge. Um, I can do all that stuff because that choice is basically up to me. It's not a yes or no. It's basically like, do I want to scavenge? Yes, I do. And I'm going to give them water and soup every five days. I don't have that much soup, actually. So let's prepare to scavenge. And we stumbled upon a weird signal when changing radio frequencies. We're pretty sure that behind layers of terrible static and screams, we could hear a voice. A voice speaking in a foreign language. Oh, dear. What if it's the Soviets? We should probably listen to it, but what about the children? I guess I don't give a damn about the children! We were relieved at first when we figured out it wasn't Soviets we heard. Turned out it was Canadians, which isn't that much better. Either way, they're foreigners and we couldn't understand what they were saying, not a word. How disappointing. Yeah, I can never understand that Canadian. Anyway, let's sound out the real MVP with the gas mask. And let's just let the girls have alone time. Some mother-daughter catching up time. I mean, they don't even look alike. I think Mary Jane was probably closer to Ted. But maybe this is some new bonding time. But yeah, we sent out Timmy. And we're either going crazy or this entire shelter is crawling with little insects. Or worse. It's worse. They're spiders. And not the same miniature ones, but huge, furry, and creepy beasts. We've got to do something about them. Okay, so I remember all the years ago in the Yes to Everything challenge. I think what I did before was I just chose the first option. But that doesn't even actually make any sense. Because sometimes the first option is actually the X. If you look at it like just like from left to right. So I think that we should be able to make our own choices when it comes to this. But the only thing that we can't do is not choose anything because it's basically saying no. So I'm going to try to make an executive decision here. And I'm going to choose the Boy Scout book because I know that the med kit is very valuable. So is the Boy Scout book. And I think that we can make a new med kit. Oh, nothing happened actually. What the heck? A good book is the solution to any problem you encounter. This includes marauding spiders. A few precise hits. Oh, it's the spider one. Duh. I thought I had to save one of the things. My brain isn't working today. I'm not that smart, okay? But we got some soup, and let's give them the water and the soup. We can barely breathe in this damn shelter. For the last couple of hours, the situation has been getting noticeably worse. There might be something wrong with the ventilation system. Maybe it's stuck? If that's the case, we need to look into fighting this right away. I'm gonna use the Boy Scout book. I think that's gonna help me. Knowledge is power. The bug spray is gonna be very valuable down the line. Please don't be sick. 
Oh, they're sick. At least Mary Jane is. She's sick as a freaking dog, dude. Using the handbook to research vent maintenance seemed like a fair idea. We figured if it's full of pointers on how to fix things, it must have a chapter on nuclear shelter air filtration systems. Before we could even check, we were invaded by a group of angry mutant insects which flew out of that cursed vent. Their stings hurt like hell and seemed to give us a fever. I guess only Mary Jane because Dolores took it like a freaking boss. But anyway, it's been a while. We don't know much about what's happening on the surface. If we only had a chance to tune into some emergency radio broadcast and learn a thing or two, I agree. So with that one, it's not a yes or no scenario, but I always have to click on the option instead of just ignoring it, okay? But it's lucky day number seven and Mary Jane still looks like crap, but we got a weak signal and the fallout outside has mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the surface now. Why can't I speak English? I can't even speak the language that I know and love. We are never huge fans of mushrooms. But with the colony of them growing on one of the walls, we've changed our loyalties. We're all about mushrooms now. Should we eat them? Yeah, just put some salt and pepper on that bitch. Because I have to say yes to every freaking thing. We're eating literally fungus growing on the walls. And Timmy is so sad about the fact that he missed mushroom day. But he brought back the gas mask. And he also brought back nothing. What a freaking MVP. <laughs> MVP, you're a sick joke, dude. You need your clown license. Day 10. We didn't expect to get a phone call so soon after the atomic bomb drop. Yet here we are. We can clearly hear a phone ringing outside. It must be the public phone booth on the other side of the street. Should someone go answer it? I want to give Timmy a break, but the other side of me really doesn't care. And he's sad, so I want to make him even more sad and make him do his chores. So he's going to go answer that phone. And I believe that it's the twins, right? It is... Yep. Some survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. So I might get the twin ending again. But how about we put that radio to good use? Something might be on air even now. I think this is the start of the military ending. We were able to tune in and get rid of just enough static to listen to a very energetic and lively speaker. He seemed well informed and mentioned a few helpful tips that should make it easier for us to survive the next expedition. What is that, me? Am I on the other side of that radio? But it's day 14 and Mary Jane just came back. She brought back two waters, and that's it. Okay, so whoever told me to give an item to them when they scavenge, come on, man. Don't ever give me advice again, all right? So let's prepare to scavenge, and as long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in, but we'll have to leave eventually. It would be good to head straight to safety instead of getting ourselves into more trouble, if that's even possible in this situation. Our hope is that our brave soldiers will come to rescue us and take us to some well-hidden, well-stocked government shelter. So that's the beginning of the military ending. But I think that we might be able to get the twin ending sooner. Hopefully nobody dies though, because I think Dolores is probably gonna go a little crazy if her kids die. I mean, wouldn't anybody? But let's give them some of that. And, oh shit, if Dolores doesn't come back. Yo, we are fucked. We are effed in our A if she does not come back. Should I try it though? I mean, I prepared to scavenge, so I have to say yes, right? So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, Ooh, what am I gonna do? What the hell am I gonna do? All right, Dolores, take the map. Please, I'm begging you. Please come back for me, for my sake. We have to make this playthrough the best one it can be. Day 19, what was that? Did the radio static just stop for a moment? Let's try tuning in on that signal. So there's a 50-50 chance that if you tinker with the radio, it's gonna mess it up, but it's day 20. And oh my goodness, Dolores, what the hell happened to you? And we got two waters, a can of soup, and some ammo. And more water? And a padlock? And a freaking flashlight? And no map though. Okay, you know what? It is what it is. Beggars can't be choosers. I'm gonna give you that. And I need Dolores to survive, so I'm giving her that sweet old med kit. We are also gonna prepare to scavenge because Mary Jane could use some rest, but she might manage. I'm just gonna force her to go. And a young man knocked on our door today asking for help. He said that he has been watching us for a while and he believes we're good and decent people. Although he hoped we would meet in different circumstances, he could really use our help now. Okay, you know what? Let's send Mary Jane. Even though I'm kind of iffy on it because the guy might take back what he said about us being good and decent people. But it is what it is. Sometimes we have to sacrifice people for the greater good. I think Spider-Man said that once, right? But yeah, it was the siblings and they're happy to see us and they're gonna prepare the camp and hopefully they can rescue us. But let's see what happens when I choose yes for everything. So let me actually see. Mary Jane's hungry. Mary Jane's condition isn't getting any better and she's no longer thirsty. And Dolores would really love something to eat. She complains she still can't get a good night's sleep around here. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do a little bit of that. 
because I'm a nice guy. And let's send out Mary Jane. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to send her out with the radio. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. I just have a feeling, all right? I have a feeling that it's going to be something cool. We might be safe inside these walls, but there are other problems to consider. None of us can sleep properly. We have to deal with this as soon as possible, but I don't have the med kit. So I think that they're going to go kind of crazy. And if they do, that means you can't really get them to do anything, right? Yup. Dolores is crazy, but Timmy's just sad. He's just a sad boy. A sleazy looking trader carrying an equally scruffy bag on his shoulder paid us a visit. He had offered us a simple one-time deal. For just one can of soup, we get the bag and all of its contents. I have to say yes. I can't deny the bag, right? We have to get that bag yet one way or another. But it's 24, AKA Mamba Day. And we got Shara Cove, matches the hair of freaking Timmy and Dolores. I didn't even notice that he just grew the afro out of nowhere again. But yeah, we have one less can of soup. So we have half a can left? For two people? What was that sound? Oh no, something or someone is below us. It's only reasonable to go and check it out. How about using that manhole in the corner? Yeah, just shine the flashlight in the manhole. Nothing bad can happen to that, right? Oh, we got a map. All right! Amazing, we had a pirate cave right under our house. It was filled with treasure of sorts. Too bad we only had time to grab a map before the place collapsed. Luckily, it didn't have any impact on our shelter. Okay, so we got a map. That's good news. So let's give the water and the soup. And Timmy is not doing great. It would be good to talk to him and cheer him up. I think it would be better if he got a barber. Imagine Timmy with a nice fade. Even a word or two may be enough to brighten someone's mood. Timmy seems a lot better now. Does he? A traveling salesman paid us a visit today. He introduced himself as Willie. Apparently, business can do well even after the end of the world. So he offers two soup in exchange for the gas mask. Ooh la la, say less, baby. I mean, we have no food. I actually think that's a boss trade because we don't need the gas mask for anything. And I don't think that Mary Jane's coming back. Yep, Mary Jane's dead. Day 29. Traitor alert! Timmy's salvaged comic books are mostly harmless science fiction pulp. However, some of them don't feature the brave Astro Citizen program astronauts, but cosmonauts! The boy is eating up Soviet propaganda! What a disgrace. Should we banish Timmy to the wasteland for his treacherous ways and dispose of the blasphemous comics? Are you serious? I have to force Timmy out the bunker just because he was reading a freaking comic book? Oh, Dolores. How could you do that to your own son? He's gone forever in the wasteland. The deed is done. The traitor Timothy has been dealt with. To think that the enemies tried to whisper poisonous lies into our ears through the mouth of our family. Timmy took the comic books with him. It's clear where his loyalties lie. I bet you he's just up there in his burnt room and he's just reading those comic books and he's laughing at you, Dolores. But I need to give Dolores the food and the water. It is sad seeing that though, because I'm the one that did that. I'm a bad parent. I'm a bad father. Actually, I'm a mother. I'm Dolores. And the twins are actually back, but they're asking for an axe, and I don't have that. I actually don't think that I'm going to beat this. Day 32. The first aid kit we have is useless. Yes, I don't even need to finish the rest of that because I already know that we are going to fix the med kit with the Boy Scout book and the first aid kit. He's already a freaking zombie? What the fuck? Oh, that is so annoying. Dolores, you are the most annoying person I've ever had to deal with. A loud crash, a surprise shriek and a bit of debris falling from our ceiling. Truly a recipe for a good start to the day. As it turns out, Sherico found a new toy, a bit of innocuous wiring that it ripped out of the wall. Who knows what the cable's for, but our lights are still on, so it can't be that important, right? Should we take the wire away from our fluffy friend and investigate it? I have to, I really have no choice. But I think this is gonna be the beginning of like the secret agent ending. And I do have enough water to get that ending. So if we could just hang in there, if Dolores doesn't get sick anymore, I think I can get that ending, but we just have to hang on for a little while. We grabbed the cable and followed it to a rusty old truck parked in our neighbor's driveway. Upon opening the door, we were confronted with two men wearing huge headphones who looked extremely surprised to see us. They wiretapped our shelter when we were asleep and they were listening to everything we said. We gave them hell and marched back to our shelter. So yeah, if we just hang in there a little bit, we can get like that secret agent ending and everything is gonna be cool. We've been wondering what happened to Uncle Brian. Man, fuck Uncle Brian! Day 35. The agents who were spying on us are now at the door and want to explain themselves. Should we hear them out? Do I have a choice? 
I mean, do I really have a choice at this point? I think they're gonna tell us that Sherikov's like a secret agent and it's not what it seems type shit. Let me see. They were agents, real, live agents, on a government mission. We saw their identity cards, briefly. They weren't listening in on us. It was the cat they were interested in. They made a request, too. Wanting us to aid them with some of their top secret missions in the future. If we do that, they promise they will extract us to a government safe house full of supplies and donuts. Hopefully they come back soon with more information. Okay, so I'm more of a cookie man myself. Actually, that's a lie. I like everything. Man, my stomach loves everything. The problem is simple. If we don't wash ourselves, we'll get sick. Seriously sick. It smells really bad down here, and it doesn't seem like it'll get any better over the next couple of days. Well, you know what, Dolores? You're the only one down here, so you have nobody to blame but yourself. But just wash yourself with the bullets, and we smell better. Day 38. At breakfast, we heard a knock on our door. It was a man with a rather excessive number of arms. He told us that his group was having a hard time finding supplies. Wherever they'd go, they got shot at first sight and asked questions later. It's probably because of their appearance. The problem mutant presented us with an offer. In exchange for some supplies, his folk would escort us on our next expedition and make sure we came back home safely. So I already know that I have more water than food, and we have to give that guy something, that freaking circus freak. But yeah, next trip we make to the surface, they got our back like Cairo Prax, so I'm happy about that. Using a high-tech setup involving paper cups and yards of string, the agents rang in with our next top secret mission that will surely land us in the VIP bunker very soon. They want us to go on one successful expedition and write down what we saw in the journal. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? Well, I guess the perfect thing is that those four-armed monsters are actually going to help us with our next expedition. But please, please, please. Right? Yep. A couple days are passing. And please tell me Dolores isn't sick. Yes! Okay! That makes me happy. Dolores is on her way to the surface. Let's hope she'll make it back safe and sound. We graciously agreed to fulfill their request. They thanked us for doing our civic duty and promised to be back with more info soon. That recon mission was risky business. We had to visit neighborhoods that were dicey even in the best of times. The area was full of mutated cats and dogs fighting each other in gangs. All of them armed to the teeth. Imagine dogs in gangs. We barely made it out there alive, but the agents seemed to appreciate our efforts. Let's hope these missions are actually worth it. Our bucket is just about due for an upgrade, and we're expecting the government shelter to have an excellent bathroom, maybe even a hot tub okay so she's been gone for a little bit so i need to give her soup and water i don't want to make that mistake again because i remember that i went on an expedition last playthrough and then i think somebody died after they came back i remember that but the siblings are back but i still don't have the damn axe we're just gonna scrap the siblings like forget them they always rescue us let's go all in with this secret agent ending alarm there's a group of people outside and they don't seem too friendly we recognize some of them. They used to be in our neighborhood watch. They don't sound too concerned with the well-being of the neighborhood anymore. But they are very serious about angrily waving their heavy flashlights. We need to do something before they break in and take everything we have. What are they going to do? Blind us with the flashlight? You know, we just kick them in the balls. Kick them in their assholes. Like, literally, they're assholes. But it's day 45... I'm not even worried about a thing, but I don't have any more protection. But we played a game of list the things you hate the most, and our neighbor's name kept coming up for some reason. That reminded us that the little weasel had a safe in his living room. We always wondered what's inside. Maybe now is the time to finally find out. But who will do the honors of stealing the possessions of our arch nemesis? I think this is a game over, everybody. Because once I send Dolores, nobody's going to be inside the bunker, and I think that it's going to be the end. No! Wow! Okay, times have changed! I'm sick? How the hell am I sick? Okay, so we got some ammo, and that's it. That's lame, bro. But we always steered away from casinos, gambling dens, and the like. Oh, this guy wants to gamble. Oh my goodness. I don't think that I'm gonna make it, everybody. This is bad. Like, this is real bad. And Sherikov has a shit-eating grin on their face. Speaking of Sherikov, if Sherikov considers our shelter its home now, we might as well try to get along. We could try to carry it around and pet it on the head. All cats like a good pet, and Sherikov should hopefully be no exception. Otherwise, any attempt to touch the cat could lead to our untimely deaths. Should we try to play with him? I guess. I thought cats don't like to be touched. I thought cats just like doing their own thing, right? Am I hurt? I'm not hurt. I think... Oh, I am hurt. And I'm hurting inside. And we lost one water. 
Sheriff Club sucks ass, dude. The last time we went out on an expedition, we noticed an abandoned tank just sitting there out in the open. It looks damaged, but it may contain useful supplies. Shall we send someone to investigate? We're really playing with fire, huh? Because I think the tank's gonna explode if I send somebody out there. Uh, no. Okay, cool. Did we get anything good? I don't think that we got anything good. We got a gas mask. I really don't give a shit about a gas mask right now. During our latest expedition, we ran into a smelly man in torn up clothes. We recognized him as an old bum named Jim who used to roam the streets of our town before the bomb fell. Now he roams the wasteland and it looks like he followed us home. Now he's banging on our door asking if we want to buy a rock. Well, do we? I guess. I mean, how much money does a rock cost? I guess that could be the new Mary Jane. But we're 50 days in and where's my rock? Where the hell's my rock? Wait, hold on. Honestly, where's my rock? But anyway, it says clearly we're trustworthy after our last successful mission as the agents came back with another request. We are to generously provide either a couple cans of soup or some water bottles for an agent in the field. They'll take care of the delivery. In return, we'll be given an encouraging pat on the back and the promise of a better future in a safe government shelter. Well, I better get some water real freaking soon. Like that shit better be coming soon and I'm dead. Oh no, wait, I'm not dead, right? I am dead! What? Wait, how did I die? Dolores suffered with her injuries for far too long. What a freaking coincidence. So as soon as I give the water, she just turns into a skeleton and dies with her full orange wig intact. That is insane. This yes challenge is insane as shit, dude. I can't, bro. I wanted to beat that so bad. Oh, that is lame. That hurts. But yeah, look at that, everybody. It says zero, no decisions, just in case anybody's like, well, maybe you edited something out. I said yes to every single yes scenario there was, and I still lost. But I feel like I could have made it if Dolores just held out a little bit longer. I gave her two freaking med kits, and she still died on me. She still went full skeleton on my ass. I got to try this one more time, everybody. I can't go out like that. I really can't because that's just sad boy shit. So I'm going to grab that gun because why not? Sometimes I might need to, ch -ch -ch, you know, you know that, ch -ch, you know what that means. Okay. And I grabbed some useless bullshit, but you know what? It's my useless bullshit. Let's grab my wife because that's my life. That's not really my life, but yeah, let's grab my wife though. Let's throw her in there. And what else? What else? What else? Get that radio, I guess. One time for the one time. And I need that. Come on. We definitely need the med kit. And did I grab the Boy Scout book? Did I? I don't know if I did. I grabbed my son, though. And I also would like to grab you, please. I'm going to get the axe this time. Because I want that weapon. I want the weapons. I want that smoke. Hold on. What else? Mary Jane? Now, you know what? Forget Mary Jane. I got to go. I don't got time for that. What are you talking about? Oh, you got to be joking. Get that map. Give me that map. Get that ass in there, Ted. Get that ass in there, Ted. All right. So we're gonna do this for a second time. Two times only, everybody. Let the yes to everything challenge again begin. One thing you don't expect is a band of people all dressed in green showing up at your doorstep and claiming they take from the rich and give to the poor. That's exactly what happened to us. Should we let those clowns in? They might provide some quality entertainment. They are going to jack every single thing that I have in this shelter. And I'm just gonna end the gameplay if they took everything. They took... <laughs> They took my first aid kit, and they took the axe. <laughs> Fuck you. Timmy's back. Day 10. I'm sad. Very sad. And it doesn't even look like he brought anything back. Let's see. One can of soup and lost a gas mask. Do you even deserve to eat after that? After that poor performance? What is wrong with you, my man? But this is the one where they are going to get sick. So let's just clean your armpits and your buttholes with some ammo. And let's just call it a day. Day 15. Our supplies are scarce and our morale is low. You can almost smell the desperation in the shelter. We're pretty sure there's a small group of survivors nearby. Mostly old folks from the retirement home. You know what? I'll kill some old people for some stuff. But I think that triggers the raiders actually trying to get inside your bunker more and more after that. That palm print is the mark of death, to be honest. But we didn't get shit. So now we have bad karma and the raiders are coming for us. We've been hearing a lot of noises coming from our neighborhood lately. Our guess is that there was a zoo escape and the animals are stampeding up there. It might be a good chance to hunt some fresh food. Who should go outside? Timmy, because Timmy should start learning at a young age. I can't believe Dolores is sick though, but we got three cans of soup. 
and more two cans of soup and a suitcase. Okay, let's just give them that. And let's just prepare to scavenge one more time. And we know very little about what's going on outside. So this is pretty much news about if we're going to be okay going outside <laughs> without a gas mask. And now we can send out Timmy again. Because he'll be all right. Day 21. A knock on the door is not something we take lightly these days. So when a man came to our doorstep today offering us a highly profitable game of cards, we weren't convinced. Is a bet of two soup cans and a card game a reasonable choice in our situation? Well, I'm not a gambling man myself, honestly. But we have to at this point. And hopefully luck is on our side. I think it is. Because we got two cans of soup, baby! All right, that's what I'm talking about. The military is transmitting again. They said their first step is to locate any remaining survivors. A plane will be doing a sweep over our neighborhood this evening, and we're supposed to be out in the open, signaling to it with a flashlight. So we have a flashlight, and then I think we need the map, and then I think we need to get rid of the gun, and then we can get the military ending, so I'm happy about that. If Timmy is not back, though, it's gonna suck. But yeah, everything went as planned, and I'm pretty sure the military saw us, so we just need to wait for our next orders. And Timmy's still out there somewhere. Breathe calmly. One, two, three. That's better. Don't panic. Don't panic. We need to open the door this instant or we're all gonna die! Open the door! That means they're gonna get sick. I mean, Dolores is already sick, but what about Ted? He's probably gonna get sick too. <laughs> I thought something good was gonna happen with the military ending and both of these bozos look like the Joker from Wish with their green faces, dog. I mean, doesn't the Joker have a white face? I'm the Joker. I'm the dumbass. We started arguing with Dolores about opening the bunker door a few days back. She's really aggressive, and this could quickly escalate into something major. Should we try to ease her down? The alternative is our very own small war. Have a small war with the wife? That doesn't sound like a good idea. Happy wife, happy life. That's the life motto, right? Dolores had to release some steam, that's all. We're all a bit tired, but hopefully this can be cured with a good night's sleep. I hope so. And Timmy's dead, so sleep well, parents. Day 27. Open in the name of freedom, came a shout from outside our door. We weren't sure who claimed to be representing freedom, but we could hear it was a group of people probably armed. Anyone who introduces themselves like that is probably planning to kill someone in the name of freedom. Should we open? This scenario never did me wrong. The green pajama mother suckers or the people who steal from the rich and give to the poor. Those are the people that really messed me up, but these ones, they gave me an ax. And I couldn't ax for more if I do say so myself. So I'm not sending anybody out. And we played a game of list things you hate the most. And our neighbor's name kept coming up for some reason. That reminded us that the little weasel had a safe in his living room. We always wondered what's inside. Maybe now's the time to finally find out. Dolores, go check it. Because I can't say no to it. I have to say yes to everything. So Dolores, what did you find? Please be a medkit. I don't think it was anything. It was a harmonica. Okay, so maybe you can play that at my funeral because I'm gonna die soon! Oh, it's the sleazy traitor that's holding the bag, which is the cat. Dolores says she can handle herself, but we're not sure. You know what? I'm sure. We opened the bunker door this morning to let in some fresh radioactive air. We discovered a small suitcase on our doorstep. There was no note on it, and the neighborhood seemed empty. Should we take a look inside? They're both sick as a joke. I mean, you might as well. There could be a med kit inside. Inside the suitcase, we found some soup, but yuck, it expired a long time ago. Yuck, indeed. So I'm gonna send out Dolores. If she doesn't come back, she's sick and she's on borrowed time anyway. So I'm just trying to get a med kit for Ted at this point. Day 35. Alarm! There is a group of people outside and they don't seem too friendly. We recognize some of them. They used to be in our neighborhood watch. Okay, let's leave the neighborhood watch out of this. Let's lock the bunker door. I don't understand how the lock just breaks. Maybe you could use it a couple times because I feel like the lock would be so OP in this game. But yeah, they're gone, but they'll be back. They always come back. We could really use some more supplies. We counted all of them today and the numbers did not make us happy. Time to do something about it. We know that a teacher from the local school managed to rescue a bunch of kids. You know what? I'll chop a few teachers up. I gotta get the supplies. It's a dog eat dog world out there and you gotta do what you gotta do. So we got four cans of soup. A teacher's life for four cans of soup. You know what? You gotta take it. Day 39 and Dolores is not back. I don't think that she's coming back everybody. She's not. She is so freaking dead. Day 42. On our way back from the last expedition, we noticed some drawings on a half-ruined wall nearby. It was a very crude map of our town, and one place was marked with an X. Maybe it's someone's secret stash of soup? Shall we go and check? Please be a medkit. Please be a medkit. I'm crossing my fingers, everybody. And you should be too. Because Ted needs this medkit so bad, there's no medkit. Okay. So I crossed them shits for nothing, but it was a suitcase? 
don't care about a suitcase. We had a chance to meet the strangest person today. He looked just like a human, except with triple the amount of hands necessary. We listened to a story about a group of folks just like him who are having a hard time scavenging supplies. Okay, so let's see. If we share some of our supplies with them, they will help us on our next expedition and make sure we're safe. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do, everybody. I'm going to get the soup. And then since they guaranteed or my money back that Ted is going to be all right in this expedition, I'm going to prepare to scavenge. And he better return back safely. And I swear, he better come back safe. Because I know if you're alone and you go out, it's pretty much a done deal. But let's see if they're lying. They better not be. Come on. Come on. 846. 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. Please, 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 please. He didn't come back with shit. But he came back safe, though. So, two soup, one ammo, and two water. That was not what I expected. You know why I think I'm not getting the military ending? I think it's because I killed the old people and I killed the teacher. And the military is like, you know what? Those are two things on our list that we do not approve of. So, I think that they're not coming back for me. Wait. What? Why is Ted not sick? Hold on. It said Ted is still sick. Ted still hasn't recovered his energy. And then he's just not sick? Wait. What? Hold on. That's got to be a glitch. How is he okay? Hold on. Let me read through this again. Because the last scenario that I had before this was about like some cockroaches or some shit. And I smashed them with the book. I just edited that part out because I didn't want to read through it. But then now he just comes back all fine and dandy. Pale is a ghost, but he's my ghost, so I love him anyway. Wait, what? That is weird. Yo, that is weird as hell. Okay, so it's day 60, and now it says Ted has recovered from his sickness, and his injuries are all fixed. And where is water when Ted needs it? Okay, I got the water for you right here, right now, but that is a miracle. Day 61. There's a small muddy pond in the park nearby. Too bad we forgot our fishing rod. Perhaps we could try to fish something out of the nasty water using the old suitcase. I don't really remember getting this scenario, but maybe we can get something cool. Just one time for me? No? What did we get? We got a checkerboard. Who the hell threw a checkerboard in the lake? Okay. Clearly, we're trustworthy after our last successful mission as the agents came back with another request. We are to generously provide either a couple cans of soup or some water bottles. Okay, so remember the first yes to everything run that I did? And then I died right after this with Dolores? Well, now Ted is in the same situation, but this time, I think that he's gonna make it. So it says, we graciously agreed to fulfill their request. They thanked us for doing our civic duty and promised to be back with more information soon. And this is what it's come down to. Sitting idly in the shelter with very few supplies and a growing sense of impending doom. If only there was something we could do about it, like breaking into our neighbor's shelter. We know the lock is broken and we saw her restocking the shelter before the bomb fell. Should we go and check it out? She and her children probably didn't make it in there, right? <laughs> Yeah, right. Whatever makes you feel better, Ted. Because that's what I would tell myself if it was a life or death scenario. And now this dude is crazy as shit. All right. We got a suitcase out of it, too. Are you happy with yourself, Ted? When we heard a knock on the door this morning, we held our breath in fear. But we soon heard children's voices coming from outside. We decided to open up. It turned out the voices belonged to a pair of Girl Scouts. They used to sell cookies, but they have branched out and now they offer their other items too. Smart girls. Actually, they're not that smart because they're gonna give me the make it for ammo? Stick to selling cookies because this shit is not your forte. Are you kidding me? A make it for some ammo. I would take that every freaking day. Wow. We just hustled that. Okay, I'm happy about that. A young singer approached our shelter this morning, encumbered by two different guitars, a big backpack, and a weird contraption holding a harmonica in front of his face. He asked for some supplies in exchange for a folk song or two. Do we want to share? I guess I could spare a can of soup for a song, even though the song is probably going to be ass. I think the song made Ted more crazy, to be honest. And someone's at the door. We're a bit scared, but maybe it's a friendly face of an American soldier. Should we open? This has got to be the secret agents. It's got to be. Come on now. And I got an achievement. I got two achievements. And I got the Yes Man achievement. Oh my god. I am the god at this game. Yo, I'm the 60 seconds goat, baby. We're taken out of our home in the dark of night. 
and hastily transported to what the agents called a presidential bunker. It's amazing. Sure, the walls are a similar shade of gray, but now we have a whopping 20 square foot more to walk around while we die of boredom. The extra bucket and newspaper supply is nothing to sneeze at either. All in all, it's definitely an upgrade. Life here will surely be worth all the trouble we went through. Finally, we can sit, relax, and let somebody else empty the bucket for a change. Ted's mental health worries us all. You know what? It doesn't even matter because we just beat this whole thing, baby. That's what I'm talking about, everybody. Only took me two tries to beat the yes to everything challenge in 2022. Look at that. Yes, decisions, yes. No decisions, no. Even though I edited out some parts, you know I stayed true to my words. So that's what it is, everybody. That was the yes to everything challenge in 60 seconds. One of my favorite challenges that I've done in this game. I love this game just off the randomness of it. So if anybody wants me to try anything else while I'm still like in love with playing this game right now, let me know down low in the comments below. But if you enjoyed this and want more in the future, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cove Scouts is that dude!